hello so yes I missed last week and I'm doing them once a week and I miss <laughs> uh, it's just been really busy here and trying to figure out what I'm gonna talk about is its own ordeal but I'm here we're here and we're gonna do this so as everyone should know by this point the holidays are here which means this might be one of my last videos of the year I might start again next year. I have not quite decided what I'm doing with this, but the end of the year is coming. So as I've mentioned before, holidays can be a little bit stressful around here, mostly because we have to figure out how we're spending our holidays. Are we gonna go and be with my family? Are we gonna be with his family? Are we not gonna be with either of them? Are we gonna go on a trip? Where is everybody gonna be? And we have to coordinate as good as possible because, you know, it's one holiday. <laughs> so for Thanksgiving, we ended up going down to see my family and we had a Thanksgiving with his family like a couple days before. So we got to spend time with them and it was really nice. We got to spend time with my family, which is really nice. And we got to spend a lot of, longer down there because it was a longer holiday. And we'd take off like maybe two extra days. So that way we get most of the week down there and we can actually go and enjoy stuff and not feel rushed about, oh, going down for a day, coming back up the next day kind of thing. Um, so now we have Christmas. I personally get really excited for Christmas for a few different reasons. One of them is gifts and not receiving gifts, giving gifts. It is one of the things that I absolutely adore doing. I love giving gifts and they aren't like always super expensive gifts. Sometimes they can be, but they're not usually. They're usually more of a thoughtful gift, something that I know they've mentioned before, something that they wouldn't get for themselves, something that they just reminds them of a happier time. Whatever that may be, I try to put a lot of thought into it. So we're going through gift giving and part of the topic for today is just all of the stress that you go through during a holiday one of the stresses that I didn't particularly anticipate this year because it didn't I don't remember it happening last year was gift giving for his family <laughs> so I always put a lot of thought and effort into my family's like gifts I think about it for months like I think some of their gifts I've had since the beginning of the month, if not last month. I don't remember when I ordered it. I could check, but I'm also using my phone for this right now. <laughs> but the point is I've had them for a while and I've been thinking about it. The only person who I didn't have a gift for, I plan to get either this week or just kind of take her. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to handle that. Pretty sure that I will be able to do it sometime this week. So we're going to go. We're going to get her gift. It'll be great. But... <laughs> his family we didn't have anything really for anybody last week and it was starting to get like stressful for me and i'd been like searching and googling and like trying to remember every single conversation i've ever had with his brothers with his mother with his dad like trying to cram everything back into my brain and process what could possibly be good gifts and then the person that i am i get stressed i can snap i snapped a little bit and i apologize <laughs> but I was like, we don't have gifts for your family. How are you not thinking about this? And I like went on my rant. Like I was, I, I, I did cry a little bit. I was a little upset, <laughs> but we just talked about it and we just approached these things differently and we, you know, got past it, figured it out. However, we ended up getting a gift for one of his brothers. And then he forgot about it and got him a different gift. So now the first gift, we were trying to figure out, okay, is there somebody else we can give this to? Is this something that we can just save and give to him later? Like, what are we going to do with this? We did eventually find a solution for it. I eventually found a solution for it. But it was still like figuring out how we work and communicating a little bit better. Our brains work really differently. Like I'm a little bit more on the artsy side. I am a really good communicator most of the time and I'm not hesitant to talk about things that are bothering me, the things that I'm doing, the things that I'm thinking, kind of what's going on. He can be, 
but his brain just doesn't work like that. His first thought isn't, let me tell her what's going on. His first thought is, I'm going to get this done and it'll be all stress free for her and she doesn't worry about it. But if he had asked me or told me what he was getting, I would have reminded him that we did get something for that other brother. But he didn't. And so it's just like learning to communicate and I think learning on my part that I need to learn how he communicates and learn to be a little bit more calm when he doesn't. Because it's not that he's intentionally trying to heap stuff from me, it's just that it doesn't quite occur to him as a thing to do. And we talk about it a lot because it comes up in a lot of different ways and I'll say like, you could have just said this. And he'll sit there and go, yeah, you know, when you say it like that, it makes a lot of sense to do. <laughs> or when you say it like that, you know, it seems so obvious I should have said something like that. And it's, it's interesting. <laughs> Our just, the well, way we think about things, the way we talk about things just is different. And he just doesn't think about how to say these things. And I have to learn to accept that and try not to get so worked up about it and just assume he didn't think about it and try to help him figure out either how to think about it or teach myself to just chill a lot more, which is tall order on my behalf, but you know, could be the same on the other side. So that's one thing that I just kind of like holiday stress that comes up. The other one is figuring out what we're doing for the holidays. So for Thanksgiving, we kind of got together with his family because we see them about every other weekend, if not every weekend. And we talked and we were like, hey, this is what we're thinking. We're gonna go down. When do you guys want to celebrate Thanksgiving? Because usually his family has this big, like week long Thanksgiving thing. That they all go to Denton for, because that's where um, one of his aunts lives and she's got a big house and has, it's a big thing. Like it's a huge thing that they do. <laughs> and I don't think it's Denton. I think it's somewhere around. It doesn't matter. Anyway, point is it's really far and they all make this trip and it's a really big Thanksgiving thing. However, his family wasn't going this year because two of his brothers are in college and they weren't going to be off until the day of Thanksgiving and it didn't give them enough time to travel. We were just going to be home. And so I said, it's fine. We'll celebrate with you before. We'll come back. We'll, you know, we'll see you the next weekend and it'll be fine and we talked about it and agreed about it. And then at some point, I don't remember if it was that weekend or the weekend after, and I think it was the weekend after, uh, it came up, what are we doing for Christmas? And I didn't decide this year, I just kind of asked this year what we were gonna do. And he said, because of just the way that everything's been, we are going to take the longer holidays to spend with my family. Now we said this last year, and I may have talked about it already on here, that it was really frustrating to have that last minute change. And so I was like, okay, you need to talk to them. And I kind of gave him his negotiating. I was like, well, you can give them this day. We can do this days. We can, you know, if I would prefer this day, but if they would really like this day, we and just kind of like our strategy kind of going in. But the thing is he has to do the talking because it's his family. And one thing that I don't want to happen is I don't want them to assume that I don't want to spend time with them or that I'm taking him away because that's not my intention. It's not what I want to do. I just want to figure out a balance between our families, which is impossible because we both want to spend time different ways and we just have to agree on something. <laughs> so I was just kind of like, you need to talk to her about it. Well, Christmas is next week. And he didn't talk to him about it until this last weekend. That made me feel great. I was stressed. I was worried. I didn't want him to feel like we didn't think about them. And I overthink things sometimes. So it might've just been me, but it was still like, please give people time to plan. And so finally I just kept like, we went to dinner with them. We were talking and having a good time kind of came up. We kind of mentioned that we were going to go down and that we were going to celebrate with them a different day. And so after a little bit of time passed, I kind of nudged and was like, so what day? And I was like, oh, and then they got it. And then they got off topic again. So I just nudged me and I was like, I, I need a day. I need to know when I need to wrap presents. I need to know if we're going to eat, if we're going to go somewhere, if we're going to make something like I, I need to know what I need to plan to do because 
I usually do my grocery shopping on a Monday and that'll last me the whole week until the next Monday, which means that whatever we need to be taking or doing, I need to know. Now, I still don't know that. I just know that we're going to be celebrating it the weekend before we leave. We figured it out though, we're get, we'll get through it. I can just message her by this point and be like, hey, are we eating food? Are we gonna, do I need to bring something? Are we just gonna have, like pick a pizza? Like what, what do we wanna do? And take care of that later. What stress I didn't anticipate. Because for the most part, as much as I didn't anticipate like the gifting thing, it wasn't a big deal. As much as I didn't anticipate the figuring out how we're doing holidays, you know, dealt with it it was kind of like one of those okay I mean figured it out we plan his vacation days months in advance because oh my there's a cat right there she's fighting I mean, it's not fun <laughs> so we plan his vacation days so far in advance because there's only so many in his department that when one person takes a day off, the other person usually can't. Or they like to know ahead of time so they can plan for it and figure out what the workload is gonna be like. So we try to put in his vacation days as soon as we nail down what we are planning to do. So we had requested all of next week off for him. And he had the vacation